So, as you can see, that's my picture of former president, and it's by Koma, accompanied by Joseph Fijial, um, Kamara Wena in lawyer. So, former president and by Koma is marching um, in a march towards um, the entrance of the criminal investigation department. Together with in lawyers. That's the situation earlier today at the Criminal Investigations Department upon the arrival of former President Anis Bai Koroma for questioning on the attempted failed coup that occurred on 26 November this year. The situation since his exodus from his residence at Fermi Turner in Godrich to his arrival at the Criminal Investigations Department's headquarters was very much peaceful which could not be unconnected to a call for calm from his supporters yesterday. According to one of the lawyers of ex-president Kuruma, Joseph Fitzgerald Kamara says they are satisfied with the interview process. We are excited that uh, the police were very professional and that we went through the first phase, which is a direct interview, and uh, he was uh, satisfied with the process and um, he was able to speak to them. He answers questions freely and we'll be back again. Ex-President Koroma left the CID on self-recognizance and his arrival at the CID is a testament that no one is above the law. Kamara furthered that former President Koroma clearly made his position that he has no knowledge of the situation. Uh, we have obliged and complied with the law by the President said no one is above the law. He has subjected himself and we are cooperating fully with the investigations. Former President Kuruma has clearly made his position that he's innocent, he has no knowledge, no participation in this, and that is what it is, and that we are all looking forward to the successful completion of the investigations. The public seem very much at ease with the outcome of today's investigation, knowing well the tension such situations leads to. Say the power I do well, and of, as of yesterday, I read after we received the invitation, I read impressed statements where he gave, say let everybody calm down. I think that alone being helped for coil down the situation because looking at how it be forced happen before, we then go for interview in Amakini, you know, people in Benguet for barricade, the main road will lead to a house, I believe, say all that and then a lawlessness. But this alone don't you say the past self now law abiding somebody because the kind of way where people let me they insinuate the thing how way the power appear then go can apprehend and then go lock and then go this all length in and they I believe say it they continue for heighten the situation. I'm really glad for the situation because like how people they look at them, they put the power calm, supporters there for calm and come out of the streets, you understand? Create different different panic for the people. But really the situation is calm and quiet. And the power was so peaceful, the security will be peaceful. Then at the end of the week, I will see people and go escort inside, we come on back, we'll see a police van escort to a destination. So it'll be really peaceful, really. Meanwhile, ex-president Kuruma in his tweet says he maintains an open mind, peace and trust in the due process and the rule of law to prevail. Samuel Ibrahim Kuruma, AYV News, Freetown.